Glycania species, named after the German botanist Frederick Wilhelm von Glycan. Glycania is a land fern with strangling habit. It's a very invasive, least concern land fern of immense ecological, evolutionary and economic importance. It has got a wide range of secondary metabolites that are very much essential for various medicinal purpose. Hello friends, I am Ayantika and in this video I am going to discuss about reproduction and life cycle of Glycania species. In an earlier video, I have made uh, 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 an overview of Glycania where I discussed the habit, habitat, the global distribution, the uh, morphology, anatomy, and uh, ecological importance, economic importance, control measure and about the fossil forms that are closely related to Glycania species. So, in this video, I will be discussing the reproduction and life cycle only. In any case, you haven't watched the previous video, that is part 1 of the video. I have put the link of the part 1 video in the description box. So, let's start the video. So, we start this video with the reproductive structure. We know that uh, in the ferns, the reproductive structure is present on the leaves on the pinna of the leaf just like other fern this glycania uh, plant also bears its uh, sporangia the spore producing body on the lower surface of the leaf so we know that uh, glycania it's a land fern and ferns are the tridophytes that is they do not have uh, f they do not have a uh, reproductive structures like flower but instead they have reproductive structures called sporangia that produces the spores so uh, the spores are haploid structures that germinate to produce the gametophyte which uh, produ uh, uh, in turn produces the gametes which fertilize again to produce the sporophytic generation. So this, uh, this uh, reproductive structure, the sporangia, it is born on the lower side or, or the ventral side or the, mm, uh, here in this picture we see the lower side of the pinna we have got a uh, sporangia in a row on the either side of the uh, terminal costa or terminal vein which can be a second secondary or a tertiary vein so in this picture we see much detail where this is the terminal vein we see and the sporangia they are arranged in cluster in a ring to form a sori and this uh, sori they are uh, a, a row of sori are arranged on either side of the mid vein we see uh, these are the this is the picture or uh, that taken from a research paper of Lawrence Jensen and Gerald Carr here we see that this is the uh, indefinitely um, in, uh, growing uh, leaf this one with uh, pseudo dichotomous branching we see here with pseudo dichotomous branching an ultimate pinna this one this one uh, on the lower surface of it we get something like this here we see more something clearly like that uh, the sporangia so, they are born in cluster forming a sori on the uh, either side of the terminal uh, costa or vein so this is the vein and they are arranged very close to the vein on the lower surface and uh, the each of the sporangia this is a sori uh, with two sporangia uh, the number of sporangia can vary from 5 to 15 and all the sporangia they develop simultaneously the sporangia is usually pure shaped that is piriform 
and they are densely covered with hair and the sporangia is a stalked one stalk uh, uh, is uh, multicellular so they have a multicellular uh, stalk and they pyriform sporangia and this sporangia they uh, open by a annulus so that will be shown in the next uh, slide so this is how each of the sporangia the, this is the each of the sporangia they are arranged in uh, in a um, circular uh, in a uh, in a ring like structure and we see that the terminal uh, the annulus that is present apically it dehesis so the and uh, the sporangia liberates the spore through this apical annulus so the apical annulus that is present it dehesis to produce uh, to release the spore so this is the diagram here we see and this is the uh, sporangia uh, picture of sporangia when it is very young uh, usually uh, the sp uh, sporangia uh, uh, is a uh, yellowish color uh, or very light color um, because all the spores inside it is usually it lacks chlorophyll and the spores uh, when they are very young they look yellowish colored but when the spores mature they darken in color they become very dark and black when ripe so the uh, spores uh, this is the sporangia and the spores are liberated by the dehiscence of the annulus here in this diagram we are seeing. So uh, the spores once liberated they uh, produce a gametophyte and how does the gametophyte look just like other ferns uh, gametophyte is a is a flat plate like structure and it is either opcordate or elongate generally opcordate but elongated also found so this this type of gametophytes uh, opcordate or um, elongate gametophyte it is very thick at the center and very thin in the uh, middle the, it has a thick middle uh, portion and thin uh, marginal portion on the lower surface of this gametophyte uh, the anthridia and archegonia are present so the archegonia or the female reproductive organ is born on the lower surface and the anthridia the male reproductive organ is also born on the lower surface but uh, the formation of these anthridia is much uh, prior to the formation of archegonia so uh, this archegonia archegonia produces the egg cell and the anthridia produces the sperm cells so this is the diagram um, I have taken it from research kit and so this is the spore this is the spore and uh, the spore liberated it uh, reaches the substratum and it germinates it starts to germinate to produce ultimately this type of uh, gametophyte so this is the this is the haploid gametophytic structure ultimately we see that this opcorded gametophyte on the lower surface of the gametophyte this type of uh, this type of that is e this type of gametophyte on lower surface has the sex organ that is the anthridium and archegonium the gametophyte also has got mycorrhizal infestation without which most of the gametophyte development is limited after a certain stage if there is no uh, mycorrhizal uh, infection in, then um, the entire development it, uh, it gets limited 
So mycorrhizal infection is very much important for the development of the gametophyte. On the lower surface of the gametophyte, the sex organs are found where fertilization occur and the female gametophyte, that uh, the female, um, not, not the female gametophyte, but the female uh, sex organ, that is the archegonia, it um, uh, bears uh, inside it the egg after fertilization the zygote it develops inside the uh, archegonia only and um, gradually the plant uh, that is a sporophytic plant it um, develops uh, while still in the gametophyte and uh, this type of fern that is lichenia it uh, it is monoecious which means that uh, both the archegonia and anthridia are born on the same gametophyte body so this is the life cycle of glycania where the adult plant or the dominant phase is a sporophyte that is a diploid generation which uh, where the reproductive organ are born on the terminal pina of the repeatedly branched uh, leaf the mm, uh, pina of the leaf which is repeatedly branched and the ultimate on the ultimate pina we see the spo uh, spores are born on the say for example the lower surface of the leaf uh, the sporangia are present and each of the sporangia they are uh, clustered to form a sori so uh, this sori is a clustering of various of uh, 5 to 15 number of sporangia and each of the sporangia bears many spores and the spores actually when they are mature uh, the terminal uh, portion that is the annulus it dehisces and the spores are liberated the spores when liberated they fall on the suitable substratum and uh, this uh, spores germinate to form a gametophyte. Now the gametophyte is a opcorded structure on the lower surface of which they bear the sex organ. So uh, the this is the tra transverse section of a gametophyte and the sex organs are born here. So fertilization occurs for uh, with the help of water the uh, sperms that are produced from the anthridia uh, f uh, they swim and uh, reach the archegonia that is a female reproductive organ and fuses with the egg to produce a, a zygote which is again deployed zygote undergoes repeated division to form the adult sporophyte and this adult sporophyte here we see that the adult sporophyte sporophytic plant it is while still in uh, attached to the gametophyte it it is found to be grown uh, while still attached to the gametophyte so uh, in this way the entire life cycle of glycania so about the reproduction completed. and life cycle of glycania and I have earlier made a video on the um, morphology, the anatomy and economic importance, the control measures of glycania. So in case you haven't watched that video, I have put the link on the description box. I've started making videos on the on various pteridophytes where I earlier made a video on two aquatic pteridophytes, uh, the two aquatic ferns and now this is the land fern. I will be making videos my next video will be ab uh, about another land fern Ligodium and I have also made videos on algae fungi on uh, lichen cyanobacteria and uh, bryophytes and you can go to my channel and watch those videos and if you have any uh, suggestions or queries do write it in the comment section and if you like my video, do share it with your friends because your sharing will um, uh, help me increase my uh, subscriber base. And if you are new to my channel, do subscribe and encourage me. And if you are an old um, uh, viewer, then 
Thank you for subscribing me. Thank you again for watching this video.